for this welterweight championship fight. Adesanya is four years the elder. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Championship of the world. If it is the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 18 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, Kevin the Motown Phenom Lee. And now you see the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel, the last dial bender. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long... Oh! Jab hurt him a little bit. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big hook. Goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so he sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Lee's got the full mount. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the feet now. Nice strike. Barely missed on an uppercut. And there comes the separation now. Sonya's got his back. Nice kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Under two minutes to go. It's such a fast leg kick. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. They continue to exchange. Kick is blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Boom. He hurt Kevin Lee. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh. 
All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Nice punch lands over the top. Thirty seconds to go in the round. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips, and because of that, he's been safe. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, with authority, the body. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. on the straight right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, a huge block there. Jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. And there it is. He got him. What a fight. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it, that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Due to arm, triangle, choke, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kevin the Motown Freeman Lee. Well, he came in a confident number one contender. He leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world. And I say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion. He submitted the guy, and rather emphatically. So you're looking at him. That is the new UFC welterweight champion. And as he celebrates in the corner, you can't help but think.